Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about security. So have you ever stored your website and app passwords in settings? When you double press the home button to go to the app switcher, you would notice that the password field hides itself and when we select the app back, we can see the password field again. User security has to be the first priority if we are working with the user's personal data. So today I will show you two ways how you can hide sensitive data. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first let me show you how you can change or hide content when in app switcher. We are going to use notification center to pass data from uh, our scene delegate to any view controller. And the reason why I'm using notification center is because it has a one to many relationship. So let's go to our scene delegate and let's first create a variable. So let's do var did app switch. and make it a boolean and make it equals to false i will show you why i did it later on in the video now let's create two new functions for showing and hiding or in our case we are going to change the label so let's go ahead and do private func show and then let's do private func hide After this, let's uh, create a variable for our notification center. So let's do let nc equals notification center dot default. And in our show function, let's add did app switch equals true. And then let's do nc dot post and, and in the name property, let's do notification dot name and let's call it hide and we don't need to pass uh, any objects so we are going to make it nil and for hide function we are going to check if the user has come from the app switcher or the app has been opened for the first time now right now i'm not going to add the condition and let's do it normally you'll you'll see what i mean in a bit so let's do nc.post and then again name parameter and then we are going to pass in notification.name and we are going to say show and again we don't need to pass in the object so we're going to do nil okay now let's head over to our view control controller and create a variable let nc equals notification center dot default and in our view did load we are going to add our observers so we are going to do nc dot add observer and we are going to say self and inside the selector we are going to say hash selector and inside that we are going to pass a function that we are create we will create onwards and for the name we are going to give it the same name as we did in our scene delegate and obviously we haven't sent any objects so we are going to make it as nil now let's just copy and paste this and instead of saying hide we are going to do show but before that let's create an outlet for our label so let's head to our storyboard and let's uh, add a label And then let's create an outlet. Now in our viewed load, let's do label text dot text equals some private stuff. And then let's create our two functions and let's name the first one hide stuff name it whatever you want and then inside that let's do label text dot text equals and let's add yo go away this is private and then an angry face and then let's call our second function show stuff and again we are going to do label text dot text equals okay come here i'm just kidding and 
now the final thing is to connect all of this to change our label and let's do it one by one in our scene delegate first we have a scene did enter background so inside that let's add our show function When I open the app switcher, the label is not changing, but when I go to the home screen and then I come back to the app switcher, you can see the label has changed. So this is not good because the unauthorized user can still see the information. So for that, let's add our show function in scene will resign active. And then we have a, and then we have another function called scene will enter foreground. So inside that, let's add our hide function. And then let's run our app. And let's delete the hide function from here and add it here in uh, scene did become active and now let's run it it's working but uh, here's the problem whenever I'm running the app the scene did become active gets called so this is where our dead app switch comes in so in our height function, let's do if did app switch and put the notification center in this condition. And now let's run the app. And boom. Now you can do the same with the text field and hide them when the user is in the app switcher. Okay, so that was the first way you can use to hide the content, but what if your UI is too complex and uh, hiding one component ruins the entire UI? Or there could be many other use cases. So for example, I have this banking app that I use. Now if I go to the app switcher, you can see that the entire screen goes blur. So let's see how we can achieve that. Let's first create two functions. First one is to take the screenshot uh, of the current view and second one to apply a Gaussian blur. The first function will return an UI image and inside it we are going to do UI graphics begin image context and then we are going to do self.window.screen.bounds.size and since the window is optional we are going to add the default value for of uh, cg size and then we are going to do guard let current context equals ui graphics get uh, current context and then we are going to do else and we're just going to return nil After that, we are going to do self window dot layer dot render in current context. And then we are going to do let image equals UI graphics get image from current image context. And after that, let's add UI graphics and image context. And then we are going to return the image. After this, let's create the function for applying Gaussian blur to this. So we are going to do func Gaussian blur. And then inside this, we are going to add a parameter of image and we are going to say UI image. And then let's add another parameter called blur factor. And we are going to make this CG float. And it's gonna return a UI image. And then we are going to do guard led input image and which is going to be equals to CI image. 
else it's gonna return nil And then we are going to do uh, let Gaussian filter equals CI filter and in name we are going to add CI Gaussian blur. After that we are going to say Gaussian filter set value input image for key KCI input image key and then again we are going to say Gaussian filter set value blur factor for key KCI input radius key. Then we are going to do guard led output image Gaussian filter dot output image else we are going to return nil. And for the image we are going to say screenshot and in the next parameter we are going to say blur factor which is going to be 4.5 since uh, it is returning uh, an optional UI image so we have to give it a default value so we are going to do question mark question mark and we're going to say UI image And before anything else, let's go up and uh, under under our window variable, let's create a uh, let's create another variable called uh, app switcher view, and it's gonna be a UI view. And then let's come back to our delegate function and let's do app switcher view equals UI image view and then inside we are going to say image and B image after that let's uh, let's do self dot window dot add sub view and we are going to do app switcher view 
and it, it's giving me an it's giving me an error because it is an optional you can give it a default value or you can just say uh, you guys you, you can force unwrap it and then let's go up to scene scene did become active and inside that we are going to say app switcher view dot remove remove from super view and now let's run the app and if you open the app switcher you can see our screen is blurred So I hope you guys have learned something valuable. If so, please like and subscribe for more content like this. That's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and thank you for watching.